Hello, I haven't started the vlog yet saying it's already 5 to 3 in the afternoon. Welcome to the 11th weekly vlog. I've spent my morning filming, editing and uploading tonight's video, which was the how I did my makeup at school. Very cringy photos that I found to help me remember what I used to wear. Because to me, I just remember what I used to wear. My memory is, is not great. But yeah, go check out that video if you haven't, didn't watch it last week. Also, I woke up this morning and... You know sometimes like if you trap a nerve in your finger like the end of your finger can go numb? Well half of my bottom lip feels like that to about here all the way around. It feels numb and it's felt like that all day. It's not swollen, like it's not trapped nerve in there or anything, it just is numb. So I don't know what I did in my sleep but I now can't feel half of my lip. <laughs> At the moment I'm sat watching Narnia, uh, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, it's probably one of my favourite films, really like it. They were my childhood books, the Narnia books, so I really like the films. And I think I'm now going to go and attempt to make the banana muffins that I didn't actually end up making yesterday, which I was going to make yesterday but didn't. I'll go do that now. Well, banana muffins haven't happened because we went to make them, we don't have enough ingredients. And not gonna lie, I couldn't bother to go to the shop to get some extra things. And then I've just had an hour nap. I don't have like mark because I was lying on this and there's like dents in it. Well, not dents, but like weird, ridgy things. So I'm well surprised I haven't got like dents all over my face. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Lip update I still can't feel it. Does it look weird? I literally, I literally, I can't feel my lip. Does it look swollen? Not really. Can't feel my lip. I also have a really weird bit of hair right here, look. Boing. I've decided that I'm gonna have a slice of cake and a cup of tea and I'm gonna watch the new American Horror Show. I haven't watched the last two seasons. I didn't watch um, the circus one and I didn't watch Hotel. They just thought they were rubbish. The first three seasons were incredible, but the last two, just not kind of my thing but i feel like i should give this one a go so i'm going to watch the first episode of that i will give you my verdict later i have just gone full-on naughty with this cake where is it i added cream we've mm -hmm. made some weird noises today and yes, I add my milk before I add the water. Sometimes. Other times I do it normally, and sometimes I add the milk first. Depends how I feel that day, this bit first. <laughs> oh, there's a little robin on the bird feeder, look. Can you see? Can you just see my reflection? How do I zoom in on this camera? Oh, it's now gone. My battery is flashing, I need to go and charge this while I drink my tea, eat my cake, and watch. American Horror Story. Everything about the last 50 minutes was amazing. The cake, the tea, and American Horror Story. This new season is right up my alley. I'm gonna love it. Oh my goodness. I am now gonna go have a shower and sort myself out for work tomorrow with my little friend. Lip update, still can't feel it. Good morning. It's time for Road Rage with Cara on her way to work. Basically, there's a road as you come into Cambridge off of A14. It's a two lane road and it merges into one lane. Now, the way it works is like one car, one car goes in, one car, one car goes in, one car, one car goes in. The car next to me decided to just not let me in. Then he left a massive gap as it got to the bit where you kind of merge. And then he pulled right up in like to the back of the van so I couldn't get in so I had to slam on my brakes and move back so I beeped him and he swore at me <laughs> oh I, I, I hate driving to work in the mornings it's so frustrating but loving my autumn vibes this morning mm -hmm. got my tartan back hoping it's in trend still I uh, got my what my red lipstick out loving it and now I'm just gonna go to work because someone's pulled up next to me and I find it really awkward vlogging when someone is in the car next to me bye the day is done. So I can now go home and go and see my little hamster because she was at the vets again today. Apparently one of her teeth has already grown back. Like she's only just had those trimmed and one's already grown back. And um, apparently her bottom gums are a little bit inflamed so she's got antibiotics, which apparently we have to give to her through a syringe. So it's a good job she doesn't bite, otherwise it could get very interesting. So we'll have to see how that one goes. But I think I might move her into her new home. She can have a nice new fresh home because she's poorly. What else was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you something else. Oh yeah, I wore the, that Maybelline um, satin foundation today. Uh-uh. I do not like it. It was horrible. It went all flaky on my skin. Like, I've tried to rub it off. Constantly been putting powder on my face today. 
it's horrible and really blotchy it started to flake a bit like the color almost changed throughout the day like when i first put it on it was fine and then when i got to work it kind of gone a bit ready and no it wasn't the fact that i'd rubbed my lipstick like that my skin had actually gone like kind of red so yeah not impressed with that really didn't suit me at all i don't know if it's because i used a face mask yesterday like a moisturizing one i don't know whether my skin was maybe slightly greasier i don't know so i won't be using that one again in a hurry so again i need to go and try and find a new foundation okay a little lady update she's been put on some antibiotics which you have to put in by a syringe i think i told you that in the car um i have to do that for 10 days and then take her back and then that will decide whether she continues her life <laughs> oh she's the sweetest hamster i've ever had like she's never bitten anyone or anything she's just really like calm and just a really lovely hamster and i don't really want her to go also i don't think i'm gonna put her in her new cage tonight. i'm just gonna clean her out in this one as horrible as it sounds like that cage was 30 pounds and if she's only gonna be in it for like 30 days <laughs> that sounds so mean but but yeah, she's snoozing in her house. Probably can't see her. She's in there. You can kind of see her. There's her little eye. Lady! Yeah, apparently her tooth that we only had clipped a month ago, I thought it was like a couple of weeks, but apparently it's been a month. One of them had already like grown back again. But only one. The other one was still really stumpy as to what, when they cut them. But yeah, one of them had already grown back loads. <laughs> Um, she just has very quickly growing teeth. My poor little cherub. We've been having to give her special mushed up food because of her teeth. She's not been eating properly. That's what that is, by the way. Tuesday morning I'm currently waiting for my friend I pick her up for work when I drive past and she's in too so yeah just waiting for her she ain't even broken yet um was I gonna tell you oh yes my lipstick it's NARS today I'm loving wearing red lipsticks however they're just they are quite hard work <laughs> when you have when you at work what is it this one it is NARS in can you see can you see I love this colour, it's absolutely beautiful, but we'll see how it lasts at work. I mean, it's not, so it shouldn't be awful, but yeah, I'm really, really enjoying wearing red lipsticks recently. Just not enjoying the faff of them. We do, we do, we do. I need to also change the car air freshener that I have in here. It's currently a little fox, little fox, um, but I've got a... A uh, Yankee Candle one in clean cotton. I need to put that one in. That's one of my favourite Yankee Candle smells. Did you know that? You do now. I love like clean smells that just make everything smell like freshly washed. <laughs> it's one of my faves. It's one of my faves. Right, I don't have anything else to say to you this morning. Oh, also, I'm super excited for my lunch. I've got, you know, those little cans of Heinz baked beans you can get with the little sausages in? Yeah, I've definitely got one of those. I'm gonna have beans on toast and I'm really excited. It's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste so good. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Here she comes. <laughs> she has no idea I'm filming her. Happy Tuesday evening, everybody. I don't know why I started recording. What's I gonna tell you? 
lip update for you all. I still can't feel it. It's still numb. Oh, hello. Hi. Say hello. Don't run away. <laughs> That's hamster food. Don't eat that. So, yeah. Still can't feel my lip. It's, it's driving me nuts really is i still don't know what it is i don't know if it's because i have arthritis in my jaw i don't know if it is in that and like where it's swollen a bit it's caught a nerve or something i don't know i really i have no idea yeah literally don't have a clue so i'm just gonna have to live with it i guess this evening's gone well quick i got home early and it's already like half eight and i didn't even realize until i went to like check my phone it's like oh i need to have a shower i need to have a shower like now oh by the way lipstick lasted really well i think i touched up twice maybe and one of those was after eating so i kind of had to touch up after that didn't i otherwise that ain't gonna look good and my lunch was amazing i really enjoyed it there's something about i don't know why but there's something about having a hot lunch at work that kind of just makes the day a little bit better it does for me anyway when especially in winter like I have like a chunky soup, which are my go-tos in winter, or beans on toast, it's just, I love them. <laughs> More nan. That was a really slow drive into work. There's been an accident on the A14, and if there's an accident on the A14, every single like way into Cambridge is affected. I really hope everyone is okay though that was involved in the accident because literally the A14 is pretty much a car park right now, it's not moving. I think it's closed, I think they've closed it. But yeah, so I've now like missed both my buses. I've got 10 minutes until my next one, so I thought I would vlog. And as I came into the park and ride, there was the cutest little miniature dash hound. Oh my goodness. Do you know what, I just really want a dog. I really, really want a dog. I either want a miniature dash hound a French Bulldog, a Pug, do you really like Pugs, a Pomsky, because they're just really cute. I just want a dog. Ugh. Can someone please just buy me a dog? I really want a dog. I love my cat, but I really want a dog. <laughs> but I'm really happy as well, because I was stuck in the traffic. I made a cup of tea to bring with me in the car, in my little travel mug today, and I'm so happy I did that, because, well, it's tea, and... When you're stuck in traffic, usually all you want is a cup of tea, so I got one. Yay! Love this little mug as well. It's from Primark. I think it was in a haul or a favourites or something. It's been in the video before, but I really like it. It's so foggy today. Look at that. And I drove past so many people that didn't even have, like, any lights on, not let alone their fog lights. They had no lights on, and it's so bad. I feel like it looks like I have no mascara on that eye. I do. Weird. Hmm. Maybe I should top that one up. Um, I also look really tired under that eye. Probably because I am. What was I saying? Yeah. So many people. Oh, my bus is here. I better go. See ya. So, there was a pigeon in my stockroom today. Um, <laughs> Hannah filmed a bit, so I'll see if I can like pop, pop a little clip of it in here. Like a really short clip. But we literally, we have no idea how this pigeon got into our stock room. So Hannah went downstairs in the morning, came back up and she was like, there's something, there's something down there that can only be described as poo. And she was like, but it's white. I was like, that's like bird poo. And she was like, yeah, but there's no way like a bird could go down there. And then about maybe like five hours, six hours later, I went down there, walked up the stairs, looked to my left and there was a freaking pigeon and I screamed. I was like, oh! I don't know why I just showed you how I screamed. I screamed and like legged it back upstairs. I was like, Hannah, there is a pigeon in our stock room. So we called security and they came and got rid of it. I was like, I'm not touching it. That was uh, my day with a pigeon in the stock room. Literally no idea how it got in there though because our stock room is like on level minus one. So it's really low down. It's a really weird boy walking through the car park right now. Yeah, there's like, there's no windows. There's no doors from the outside into it. Like nothing. The only thing we can think of is there's a pipe. I have no idea where it goes, but there's a hole in the wall where a pipe is. We don't know whether it's gone through there. We think it was quite young. So yeah, not got a clue. That was my day. How was your day? <laughs> I am now going to Daniel's and we don't have any plans tonight as far as i'm aware i may get there and he'll be like oh we're doing this but probably not 
and then we're both off tomorrow so that doesn't happen very often we very rarely get a whole day off together it's usually he's had a day off so i'll go there and stay and then i have to go to work the next day or something like that but we've both got the whole day off it's lovely isn't it i'm gonna go then also wearing nars again today i'm so in love with this lipstick it's so easy to wear again i topped this up once i topped this up on my lunch that is it i need more lars lip lars um, i need more nars lipsticks in my life i've been talking for nearly three minutes about pigeons and lipsticks so i'm gonna go hello happy thursday it's actually 20 to 8 on Thursday night. <laughs> I haven't vlogged anything today. Just had a nice quiet day with Daniel. We went to see his sister and her boyfriend and her little boy today. Because we don't really see them very often. So it's quite nice just to go over and see them. So yeah, there was a, it wasn't really any point where I felt like I could just get my camera out. Like, you know what I mean? So I didn't. So yeah, it's now 20 to 8 on Thursday evening. I hope you all had a fabulous Thursday. And work went okay if you're at work and if you weren't at work i hope you had a very good day um i need to have a shower i was gonna bake a cake when i got back but it's a bit late now i think to bake a cake because i'm at work tomorrow so we're just gonna have a shower sort my life out for tomorrow like lunch and everything and i need to give the hamster her antibiotics because she hasn't had that yet today don't know if i vlog anything else today so short and sweet thursday shower time Are you gonna let me give you your medicine? Mm, okay, okay, I know. Please, please open your mouth. It'll make you better. How did you do this on your own? Good girl. Oh, good. That's it. That's it. Oh, I know it's horrible, but it'll make you better, I promise. Oh, good girl. Finishing my Thursday off with a little kitty cuddle, American Horror Story. Chocolate fingers, which are my weakness. I love chocolate fingers. And a cup of tea, if it focuses. Decaf tea. In fact, I only ever drink decaf tea. Little fact about me there. Good evening, my little balls of fairy dust. I've just got home from work. I'm super late today, it's half seven, I've just got in um, because the park and ride bus was really late. Blech. Bane of my life, that bus. Today was okay, had a pretty rude customer. Like, can I just say, you need to remember that people that work in retail are humans too and we have feelings and even if we can't offer you something that you want or you can't have your own way, you don't need to get rude. Like, we're just applying rules that we've been told to apply, so. Yeah, but I've just got my dinner anyway on a happier note. I've got fish and vegetables, very excited. I'm obsessed with eating like bowls of vegetables now, look at this. Literally a bowl of vegetables with some fish. And I'm just gonna eat this and watch some YouTube. And then I think I might make a cake. I'm feeling making a cake. So I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Well, I made some cupcakes, but they're all burnt. That was a fail. Look at these. They just look like really bad Yorkshire puddings. They're light and fluffy inside, just not on the outside. <laughs> that awkward moment people pull up right next to you when you're about to start vlogging. <laughs> um, good morning. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And I am not. I'm working all weekend, but it's fine because I've only got a week left and then I have a week off. So then I have two weekends off which is just wonderful. I was running a little bit late this morning, so I've just missed the early bus, so I've got to wait for the next one. Oh, there it is. Time to go. I need to sort my hair out when I get to work. It looks like I have a pile of poop on my head. I'm not rocking this look right now. That has to be one of the best text messages to receive on your way home from work on a Saturday. Chinese for tea!
it looks absolutely disgusting on camera but it actually tastes amazing so we've got chow mein but i haven't got any of the beef i think they got beef chow mein but i'm not a massive fan of the beef in the chow mein it's kind of a bit i don't know i just don't like it egg fried rice chili beef i think slightly spicy and sweet and sour chicken balls mm -mm. just what i need on a saturday night chinese has been consumed which means it's, it is now time to start editing the weekly vlog that is my saturday routine now i eat my dinner watch some youtube and then i edit the weekly vlog so that's what i'm gonna do me and my little friend who i've named boris was that what the last spot was called i can't remember he's quite painful though this one Whew. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's currently no video for tomorrow at 6pm and I'm still undecided whether there will be a video or not. I know what I want to do. Excuse me while I just get the hair out of my eye. I know what I want to do but I just haven't had a chance to film it yet because obviously last Sunday, as you now know, um, I was filming last Sunday's video for 6pm so and um, my only other day off this week was Thursday and I was out all day so I didn't get a chance to film. Oh my goodness. Then. But the video I want to do won't take that long, I don't think, to film. It's just depending on how tomorrow goes. Because I'm thinking I might, when I get home from work, as it's Sunday, obviously I finish work early, so I'll be home by 6. So I might film it when I get home and then you'll have a video, but it will just go up slightly later. And then on Monday, I can then film next Sunday's video because Monday is my only day off and then next Saturday or Saturday coming... I'm going up north to see family as it's the beginning of my week off so I'm not going to be able to film obviously that Saturday so I'm going to need to film on Monday for Sunday's video so this is my plan but it all depends on how tomorrow goes to whether you will get a video at some point tomorrow evening just keep an eye on Twitter um, all my social media links are linked down below like my Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest I do have a Facebook page as well um, yeah everything is all linked down below if you want to follow me on social media which would be wonderful because I'm nearly at a thousand on Twitter which is brilliant <laughs> So it would be cool if I reached a thousand on uh, Twitter before Halloween, that would be really cool. And, oh yeah, talking about a thousand, I hit 900 subscribers yesterday. <gasps> and I'm now on the journey to a thousand subscribers, 99 to go. I'm hoping before Christmas I will hit a thousand. My arm is getting tired, can you see the camera like slowly do that? <laughs> I'm hoping before Christmas I will hit a thousand, or by Christmas at least, I will have hit a thousand. Every time I look at the picture up there, all I see is Boris. So, I know you're all doing it. You're just looking at my spot. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll hit a thousand by Christmas. That is my aim. So tell all your friends about me. Share this video. Tweet them. Tell them to watch it, please. Me and Boris have just finished editing the vlog. This is getting really painful, this spot. Um, and I realised I hadn't ended it again so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe help me get to a thousand subscribers people it will make my year let's end it on a high i will see you tomorrow well next week for you but tomorrow for me i forgot to say i still can't feel my lip <laughs> it is still numb